What's going on guys? Eddie here Fliptronics. So I'm going to be doing an unboxing on the iPhone SE 2020 edition in red. Okay, so I'm super excited to show you guys this phone. I'll have links in the description and comments if you want to check out the latest prices for it, but let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna be taking a closer look at the iPhone SE 2020 edition in red. So this is gonna be the cheapest new iPhone they get right now. It's gonna be 399 for the 64 gig version, which is gonna be very affordable for most people. The other cool thing about this phone is that they brought the home button back, which I thought was kind of interesting that they would bring it back after taking it away for so long, but you know, we'll see what it looks like. I've also got an iPhone 7 and an iPhone 11 I'm gonna pull out and kind of compare this phone with. And the other cool thing about this phone, obviously too, is that, you know, it's got a nice little box here. But this is going to be my first time opening it up, so this is a legit unboxing. I only took the plastic off of it, so let's uh, let's take a look at it. So anyways, here we go. Looks like we got a little pamphlet in here. Now we do have the red color, so we get a little red. Uh, I'm not even sure what this says. It just says product. Alright, so it's kind of like uh, just a little pamphlet here. Welcome to your new iPhone. Pretty self-explanatory. Looks like we got some stickers right there too. But here it is, guys. This is, uh, this is what we've been waiting for here. So let's uh, let's get it out of the box. All right, I'm gonna put it down for just a second so we can actually see what's in the box. Um, looks like your basic stuff here. You've got the uh, headphones. There's probably gonna be a charger uh, as well. Yeah, there we go. All right, so pretty basic stuff in the box. Um, we've all seen that before. But let's pull this over to the side for a second now and let's actually take a look at this phone. Okay, so this is an all glass design. Looks real nice, obviously. Now, if I had to recommend a color, I would go with red. Most of the iPhones that I've been buying for, God, I wanna say like the last year or two have really been red. Blue's cool uh, too, but they don't have blue. I think they only released this phone in uh, red, white, and black. So those are gonna be your color options. Okay, um, anyways, uh, looking at the camera here. Now it's got a 12 megapixel back camera on it, uh, seven megapixel front facing camera. Um, I mean, the phone, uh, let's feel it for a second here, man. Yeah, it definitely feels nice. All right, cool. Let's uh, let's take a look at this home button right here. All right, man. Yeah, the home button is back, dude. It's been so, so freaking long, man. Um, you know, the home button is here. Uh, but anyways, let's take a look at the back of the phone while it's turning on. So like I said, um, you've got the 12 megapixel uh, dual LED back camera now you don't have a telephoto zoom or anything on here but this phone also has obviously that upgraded apple a13 bionic chip in it so it's going to be fast um and you know now that we've kind of got it here i want to pull out the iphone 11 so we can kind of take a look at it and then i've got the iphone 7 over here so going to be looking at all three of these phones now of course um the seven's pretty old i do have an eight uh but you know, I had the 7 in red and I have the iPhone 11 in red, so I thought it'd be cool to kind of just keep everything red for this uh, this video here. So, um, kind of looking at the iPhone 7 over here. Now, this phone's probably like three years old, I think. It's got aluminum on the back, but you can see like the cameras look very similar, right? And then, of course, you know, when we flip these phones over, you know, we're going to be looking at, you know, basically the same size display. But this is pretty cool. Let's get them all turned over. All right, cool. So this is literally my first time, uh, you know, getting started here with this iPhone SE 2020 edition. I'm trying to just get these to the home screens. All right, I am kind of noticing that it's picking up uh, some fingerprint smudges on the home button, which is uh, interesting. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get through the, uh, the startup here without being connected to Wi-Fi, which I'm not gonna be able to do right now. So we're gonna have to kind of leave it at that. Um, you know, but as far as like the display goes on this phone, <clears throat> it's got a 4.7 inch Retina uh, IPS LCD display. Um, I am gonna be comparing it with some different phones, obviously like the iPhone 7 and 8, probably the 11 too, to kind of see if there's anything going on there as far as like the quality of it. But you know, as far as like just the, the straight up design of this phone, I gotta tell you that, you know, it looks nice, you know what I'm saying? Um, just thought it was weird that they brought back the uh, the home button. You know, one of the features that I missed when I obviously got, um, you know, onto the, uh, you know, the 10 and the 10R and the 10S Max, um, you know, not having that home button 
definitely gave me some withdrawal for a while. But I'd say the biggest advantage right now for this uh, new iPhone SE 2020 edition, you're basically getting you know a lot of the same built-in things as like the iPhone 11. Now the iPhone 11 has a base starting price of $700 for the 64. Um, you know the other cool thing though about getting a smaller iPhone is that they're a lot easier to hold one-handed. They also fit in your pocket a lot better which are a couple of benefits to be honest with you. So I mean, you know, uh, going from a bigger phone to a smaller phone, it's just, it is, it, it can be easier to just hold for like everyday use, which is something I think isn't talked about a lot. But, you know, we got a lot to do uh, with this phone. So, you know, um, obviously if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you know, I would appreciate if you guys hit that subscribe. If you could smash the like button, um, we're gonna be doing a lot with this, comparing it with, you know, over, I've got over 50 plus phones right now, which is crazy. But as far as just like unboxing it, taking a look at it, the thing does look fresh, comes in three different colors. Um, if you guys wanna check out the latest prices for it, I will throw some links in the description and comments as well. Thanks for watching it guys, and we'll see you in the next one.